Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to review the 13 Fishing Concept A. I got this one all tricked out. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. I'll put that video in the description below. But I know you guys have been waiting for this video for a while now. I just wanted to make sure that I got enough time with the reel before I did the review so I give you guys my honest opinion. But uh, I'm not going to go over all the specs. That's something you guys can look up online. But I will put that there on the screen. You guys can just pause that and read it if you'd like. But overall, guys, it's definitely a solid reel. And I think that's what you'll notice right off the bat. And when you spin the handle, it's a solid feeling reel. It's nice and tight. You know, I've had reels in the past that you know feel really loose. And not that one outperforms the other. It just it's just a nice feeling reel. So if that matters to you, that's a plus. You know, it's small and compact. Uh, as far as weight goes, I believe it's six, yeah, six point eight ounces, which is average. You know, it's not really light, not really heavy, it's kind of in the middle there. But one thing I will say is that the Tattoo CT, I believe it's like 7.4, which that's like a half an ounce. But, you know, for whatever reason, the CT feels so much more heavier than the, uh, the Concept A here. I mean, on the rods, you can definitely notice the difference. And like I said, it's not much in weight, but for whatever reason, the, uh, the Concept A just feels so much lighter. But um, I guess I can give you guys a quick comparison now that I mentioned it. You guys are going to ask, I'm sure. But... I think it's something that 13's really got going for them. It's just a small, compact, lighter reel. It almost feels like a finesse reel, to be honest. All right, quick comparison here. Yeah, this is a, definitely a big difference here. I bet it's a pretty big difference. Tattoo CT, Concept A. Like I said, I, I believe this is a 7.4. Not a big uh, difference in weight, but for whatever reason, like I said, the Concept A just feels a whole lot lighter. And really, to be honest, it, does, it doesn't really matter to me one way or the other. I've never really looked at weight of reels, but I know a lot of guys do, so if that matters to you. But, uh, you know, like I was saying earlier, it, it felt like a finesse reel, but that's really the only thing finesse about it as far as its frame size. You know, it's got a 22-pound drag in it. You know, it, it has no problem, you know, horse and fish in pulling them out of cover or whatever. I mean, 22 pound drag, it's smooth. You know, I do like the fact too that you can get all the trick shot parts through 13 Fish and you can order your reel, get your parts, trick it out, all from the same place. So that's a bonus as well. It does have a clicking tension knob, which that's something you don't see too often too in the price range, 179, which I also do believe it's right where it should be. You know, I really wouldn't pay any more for it. You know, obviously I would pay less, you know, if you can get it on sale, it's a great deal. But full retail, 179, I believe it's right where it should be. I love the uh, the cork knobs. You guys know I'm a big fan of cork. It casts really well. I mean, I really got nothing negative to say about it. The only thing that I would change about it would be the braking system. And not that it's bad. You know, I've, I've used pin braking in the past. Nothing wrong with it. I just prefer mag braking. I feel you have more control with it. Now, that being said, when I first talked to you guys about 13 fishing reels, I was more interested in the, the E and the KP. And when I was going to get those reels, they were clearanced out, so I didn't want to buy them right then just because I figured they were going to come out with something different. And for what I found out is they're changing the braking system on those two reels. I believe, now don't quote me on this, but I believe they're eliminating the fifth and sixth pin and they're putting more micro adjustments within the four pins. So it could be like 13 different adjustments or whatever on the spool. Again, don't quote me on that, but you'll have more adjustments within the four pins, which, you know, that's kind of what I'm looking for because, you know, sometimes two is too many but one's not enough. You know, it just, that's kind of why I like the mag braking, just you get more adjustments. And I do like that it's on the outside of the reel. You know, with the Concept A here, you do have to take the side cover off, which is fairly easy. Just pop the cover there, or there's a little uh, clip there, pop that down, it comes right off. A bonus is it's attached, so you don't have to worry about dropping that in the lake. So, but like I said, it's, it's simple to adjust the brakes, you just turn the dial there. I just prefer mag braking. Now, that being said, Mostly what I use is Daiwa, which has mag braking there. I do not like the placement of this at all, and I wish it was recessed. Because one thing that I do often with these reels is, you know, as you're fighting a fish and whatnot, that's right by your finger, I always turn these. You know, so once you get the fish in, you make a cast, it's like you lost a ton of distance, and you didn't realize that you turned the dial. You know, the Bass Pro reels that I used to use, that magnet, the, the, uh, the dial here was recessed, and you could never turn it because it was recessed in the side plate. You know, I wish that these were recessed. You know, I do like where it's at as far as being able to turn it easy because it's right there. 
but uh, if it was recessed, you couldn't turn it on accident. So, but um, like I said, I, I just prefer the uh, the mag braking. But um, I mean, both have their plus and minuses and all that, you know. But uh, they both work. I just prefer the mags. I think it's more personal preference. Again, nothing against either one. That's just my preference. And kind of what I do, I usually keep it on three or four as far as the pins go. And I keep my tension knob uh, fairly loose, and I just kind of use that to adjust the brakes. The way I'm not constantly in and out of the, uh, the side cover there. So, but um, you know, like I said, guys, overall, it's uh, it's a solid reel. I really got nothing bad to say about it. That'd be the only thing that I would change would be the uh, the braking system. But I am looking forward to using the E and the KP as soon as those come out. I don't believe they're out yet, as far as the new ones go. You know, I'm curious to see, uh, you know, how the new braking system works out. But um, guys, like I said, overall, it's definitely a solid reel. Uh, 179, like I said, full retail. I know you guys are going to ask me this now that I showed the uh, the tattoo there. Um, you guys have asked me in the past as far as comparing the two. You know how this reel palms. I mean, it's, like I said, it's a small reel. It's probably one of the better reels that I've held as far as uh, palming so nicely, just because it's so small. Uh, you know, as far as compact um, palming nice and all that, it definitely goes to 13. I think ease of casting. And as far as brake adjustments, I'd give that to Daiwa. You know, they both cast great, but with the T-Wing system, I feel I get just a tad more distance. But it's not so much the distance, it's just ease of the casting. You know, you just I feel it's less effort to make the same cast that you would get with this reel just because of that T-Wing system. But um, like I said, I do prefer the mag braking, so I'd give that to Daiwa. And as far as, you know, just how the reel feels, being small, compact, um, you know, brute of a drag, I'd give that to... Uh, the 13 here, but uh, like I said, the drag on the die was just as nice. It's not as strong, it's not 22 pounds, but I mean, uh, you know, it's still a good drag. But uh, that's how I've compared the two. You know, if you're looking for a smaller, compact, lighter weight reel, definitely go with the 13 here. And if you're, uh, you know, looking for that that uh, magnetic braking or uh, just an easier casting reel, you know, go with the Daiwa. But uh, like I said, guys, I got nothing really bad to say about the Concept A solid reel. Um, definitely check them out if you guys are in the market for a uh, new reel. And that is my review on the 13 Fishing Concept A. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, and we'll talk to you soon.